Hey hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting adventure ahead as we explore the charming and historic Quebec City. I can't wait to take you on this journey with me. So stay tuned. Our Quebec City adventure begins right here in the heart of Old Quebec. Our first destination is La Citadel de Quebec. It is an active military installation and the secondary official residence of both the Canadian monarch and the Governor General of Canada. When you visit La Citadel, I highly recommend taking a guided tour. You'll learn about its history, architecture and its role protecting the country over the centuries. They offer guided tours in both French and English. You can purchase the tickets online. However, you can visit the La Citadel directly and get your tickets from the counter. So for adult, it will cost you around $18, 18 Canadian dollars and for children, it's six dollars. Inside the citadel, there is a fascinating military history museum. It's filled with artifacts, uniforms and even interactive displays. That's enough for us to explore the museum. It's our time to start with the guided tour. We got to know about the star-shaped design of the La Citadel. And actually, it is a marvel to behold. It's a prime example of the military engineering and the way it has played a very crucial role in defending the Quebec city throughout its history. Here what you can see is a representation of the Battle of the Plains of Abraham or also known as the Battle of Seven Years. Here British actually fought with the French people and they ended up winning and that is how Canada is now a British colony. This place is not only rich in history, but it also offers some of the best panoramic views of the Quebec City. From here, you can see the beautiful St. Lawrence River and the city's charming skyline.
exploring this city can work up quite an appetite. And we luckily found this charming Italian restaurant right in the heart of the old Quebec city. We ordered some delicious pastas and margaritas and the food was amazing. In front of you, you can see Chateau Frontenac. This is one of the most lucrative places in the city and you might get lucky to see such live performances in the street too. As we stroll through this charming cobblestone streets, you can't help but feel like you have been transported to Europe. The architecture and the atmosphere here are truly unique. Now let's brighten up your day with a visit to the whimsical Umbrella Alley. It's like stepping into a fairy tale land just right here in the heart of the city. These umbrellas are not just randomly placed here. This is a creative initiative by the local artists. That is basically the end of our first day. Now we are exhausted. We need to head back to our hotel and start a fresh day tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned. Do watch till the end cause the next day is going to be more incredible. So thank you so much for staying back. So this is basically the next day and we are really hungry. So we are going to a very famous breakfast spot here in the Quebec city. So come on, let's go. So Khushan Dangia is a very popular restaurant chain here in the Quebec city, especially known for their breakfast and brunch menu. And it is very busy all the time. So be prepared. You will have to be in the queue, not for quite a long time, but yes, the queue will surely be there. And the food here, oh my God, I will not be able to explain it in uh, words. It's mouth watering. And after such a filling brunch, we are again back to the cobblestone streets of the old Quebec city because why not? You can never get bored of this town. This is so picture perfect. I mean, every, every corner of it can be framed.
don't forget to visit the basilica and the modern center which is basically a jail museum and also the parliament house Again, it's time for some refreshments. It's the time for sunset and we are here again in front of the Chateau Frontenac. From here you can see an amazing view of the St. Lawrence River. And also this is considered to be the world's most photographed hotel. Well, our time in the Quebec City has come to an end, but the memories will last a lifetime. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour as much as I did. And thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you until next time.